Game Masters. Joel. 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 Helldivers 2 released not long ago, and already the game has amassed close to 400,000 daily players. While the fight continues, it seems to only be growing. And while the doubters think that the community will die, they never heard the songs that were sung at Malevolon Creek. But what if I told you that our divers have been fighting a faceless villain? One who could control all of our outcomes. The one they call the Game Master. This is the story of Helldivers' unwinnable battle. In 2024, I'm shifting both my channels towards more variety content. So make sure you tap the red button of freedom and the like button if you really want to, and carry that 500 kilogram bomb of justice to all that oppose democracy. Helldivers, a new stratagem has been introduced to the game, and it's gonna give you some extra bazookas if you know what I mean. That and some energy for the fights. You can grab a cup of peach liberty or any flavor you like by using code Evan at checkout for some gamer subs. I have a brand new cup coming soon, so thanks to everyone who has used my code so far. I love you like the smell of napalm induced democracy in the morning. Helldivers are stationed on the eastern and western fronts of the Galactic War Map and fighting the most creative use of live service we have really ever seen. See, Helldivers works by letting the players work to liberate planets, then win a war against the two alien factions that are currently in the game, with more to come. We have the socialist scum named the Automatons on the western front, and the disgusting Terminids on the eastern. With every single planet comes a unique climate, a new obstacle in the terrain, and different objectives to take it back. The game does this creative job of always immersing its wonderful community in the fight. This starts from training. In all my years, I've never witnessed such acrobatic perfection. I think you're ready for our highly realistic battlefield simulator. That's right, the real thing. Then this moves to the uh, very cool videos showing us how evil the automatons and terminids really are. Hear that? That's the sound of heavy armor stopping the spread of democracy in its tracks. To follow up on this, you can see the propaganda. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm being told that I can't use that word on the Super Earth broadcast. I would be letting the Federacy down and I love my family, so I won't be saying that. We've covered stories on Malevolon Creek and the brave creek crawlers that keep the binary trees a bit more quiet. Their efforts never rest no matter how many times we lose the creek, just to fight for it back. We have covered the traitors of Helldivers, the world of Gantz the Demon, and those who followed the ideals of this practice of treason. But at the center of it all, there is one who controls everything. You ever wonder why Malevolon Creek fell? Why there could be more traitors on the way? Or why the community is just great in general? But this is the root of all stories, really. Ever heard of a small game called D&D? Maybe you have, just a tiny little game, no taller than a baby terminid. In D&D, there's a role often called the Dungeon Master, the player who is more or less the narrator and decision maker for your entire story. So Arrowhead Games blended this idea into a role for one developer named Joel, who more or less can affect our story on the Galactic War Map. According to Arrowhead CEO, Johan Pillested, Quote, we have a lot of systems built into the game where the Game Master has a lot of control over the player's experience. It's something that we're continuously evolving based on what's happening in the game. This news that there was a Game Master sent shockwaves down the spines of Helldivers all around. Aside from insane memes, because the Helldivers community just never lets us down, there was mass hysteria on Reddit. In the comments to a post about Joel, we have comments like, does Joel sit at his PC wearing full military dress uniform? I assume a wizard robe. Other comments like, we've been outflanked, stares into the fourth wall camera. Joel! I'm so excited to start cursing Joel at the mildest inconvenience. 
is Joel responsible for oversaturating the spawn rates anytime a scientist tries to extract? God damn you, Joel. Motherfucker has his finger on the button. This comment really stood out to me. What were Joel's powers after all? Was he having the influence of something like the G-Man from Half-Life? Or was it more tame? Well, again, Arrowhead CEO was quick for the updates before the hysteria got too far. As a follow-up on Game Master abilities, the majority of the role is to choose which major order takes place, what daily is active, and decide where the enemies attack. The war, f the war fought and liberation of planets, that's all you. We can also reinforce planets if needed and give temporary equipment to the entire community and other stuff we haven't revealed yet. Somebody would then go on to comment, how does one get to a point in life where we can have such an awesome job? I need tips because I need to make some adjustments in my life ASAP to get there. Which then the CEO responded, lots of experience as a game dev and lots of compassion for the community. So yes, we have confirmation Joel was fighting against us and helped those socialists take the creek from the crawlers. We'll fight back. We could not manifest our destiny because of Joel. Joel did not influence the traders, though. That might have been all Gantz. But there was one very important detail that the CEO touched upon, and that was the temporary equipment. This has been a hot button of conversation lately in the Helldivers community. There have been pseudo soft launches via Joel in the game that we can track. Various screenshots and videos have come out and actually shown us the new updates that the players have been finding. What's especially great here is the live service element. Little hidden secrets for all players to hunt down in the world. We all even had 24 hours when the incendiary mine stratagem was completely free. Arrowhead have said that they want to keep his role mostly secret, but I love the idea of there being someone at Arrowhead we can all collectively blame for all of our problems. Kind of great. One final note I will leave you on is that there have been mentions that the map is supposed to get more sophisticated over time. So does this mean that Joel will only gain strength the more we play his game? Was the war really worth it? The Federacy, are they lie? No, 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 I didn't mean it. Please, my family. Hello, everyone. This is Evan, too. It's so nice to meet you. The first Evan decided to quit his job for some reason, so I'm here now. Enjoy some regularly scheduled bloopers and make sure to subscribe for more variety content, especially on Helldivers 2. Mm. Oh my god, I got hit by a meteor as soon as I fucking got my gun. Oh, dude, I didn't need this. What? Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Oh yeah. I will shoot you. Did I bet it didn't look this cool. Oh, oh, holy shit. Shit. That just takes it out. 